emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Cons Prepper with a video on how you can remotely control your radio station. I get a lot of questions when I do these email applications and the slow scan TV stuff. Can I run that program or is there a program available for the Android, the iPhone, the iPad, or the Mac OS? And the short answer for a lot of these applications is no. However, the long answer is yes, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can actually control your radio station with different operating systems using Microsoft's remote desktop. So here in this configuration what I have is of course the HF radio which is hooked up to the Pactor modem and then I have a VHF radio which is hooked up to the packet modem and then over here you'll see a webcam pointed at the radio station and what I'm going to do is with my iPad which is an Apple product is I'm going to remotely control this radio station and be able to send and receive radio email remotely over my home Wi-Fi network and to comply with FCC regulations where you have to monitor the frequency first before transmitting I'm actually going to come in remotely and access the webcam so I can hear the audio coming out of the speaker of the HF radio make sure there's no traffic and I can actually visually see the receive bar here on the VHF radio again all remotely and I'm going to use the Apple iPad to do this. So I'm going to pause here and go to another location in the house and actually set up the iPad and show you how I'm controlling all this. Okay guys, so here you can see in the kitchen I have the iPad and obviously it's an Apple product and I'm going to control that Windows box upstairs with a little application called RDP or Remote Desktop. And we'll open that up. And now we're logging into my Windows 7 PC upstairs which is actually controlling my radio station. So the first thing I'll do is I'll open up the web camera and we'll see what's going on with the station there because you have to have positive control of your station so I can see what's going on with my HF and my VHF and there's no data coming in, no traffic present. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And I'll open up RMS Express and you've seen this program before but here I'm doing it remotely. and. We'll go ahead and we'll open up a packet session. That's actually Telnet. Packet session. We'll open up a session there. And we'll go ahead and connect to that station in Maryland, which I've demonstrated before in a local configuration. But here I'm doing this remotely over my Wi Fi network. And we're connected to that station in Maryland. And we're pulling that station for traffic. And of course there was no traffic and we should get a disconnect shortly down here and then I'll show you how I pull up the, the HF and get that to run. And we have a disconnect reported so I'll go ahead and close out that and we'll go ahead and open up the Pactor session. Open up that session. Now we're going to use the HF radio to go ahead and connect into the system. And I'll go ahead and hit start there. And I'll minimize this. If I can hit the button there. I'm working around the camera here, guys. Sorry about that. And we'll actually pull up the web camera. And you can actually see the radio's transmissions. And there you see the needle going up and down, calling out to that distant station. And we'll try to open that session up again and you actually see the connection taking place. Now this is a high-end way of doing this where the application is not remotely getting into the radio. You're actually controlling the computer. But what I'm trying to show here is you can still do things with the common tools you already know if you can see it applied and actually utilized. So if you have a Windows operating system, you already have remote desktop. You don't have to buy anything else. And you can control multiple things. Now a lot of radios actually let you change the frequency with your computer and you would have all that functionality. Now is there an application for this? Well for me if my local service provider went down and I had no internet coming into the house my Wi-Fi would still be working and then I could use my radio equipment to send and receive email during an emergency based on my local connections in the house on the local Wi-Fi even without an internet connection to the greater cloud. 
So this just gives you some flexibility. One more tool in your toolbox. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a remote desktop demonstration and how you can use it to control your radio station. And we'll go ahead and disconnect and end that session and go back to Apple. Thank you guys.